Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to discuss an entirely new concept in jQuery. We'll go through jQuery UI. UI stands for user interface and this jQuery UI is a bit different from traditional jQuery. In this video we'll see what jQuery UI is and how to add it to a web page to make it more responsive or interactive. So before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. jQuery UI is an open source JavaScript library built on the top of jQuery library. So let's go through the website for jQuery UI and the rest we'll discuss over there only. What we'll do is, we'll go to Chrome and we'll write here jQuery UI press enter and click on the first link. So here we are on the website of jQuery UI where we have several options present whether it be downloading jQuery or we can also glance through the website to know more about the new features added to jQuery UI. You can see over here if I zoom it out a bit you can see it's written over here that jQuery UI is a curated set of user interface interactions, effects, widgets and themes built on top of the jQuery JavaScript library. Whether you are building a highly interactive web applications or you just need to add a date picker to a form control, jQuery UI is the perfect choice. It basically contains several interfaces, effects, widgets and much more things that make jQuery UI quite helpful and essential for making a web page more interactive. All these effects, widgets and interfaces are predefined in jQuery UI. All we have to do is to use them with the correct syntax and we are good to go. You can see over here if we click on these draggable, droppable or any of these interactions. Click on it and you can see we have a box over here. We can drag it around. We have the source code for this and we have to write this code to make a box movable around the screen. So this is why we use jQuery UI or jQuery UI allows us to do such tasks more easily than JavaScript or jQuery. So let's move ahead and we can also go through the about section over here. If we click on about over here and if we want to know more about jQuery UI, you can see all the goals and visions behind creating jQuery UI and all. It is an open source and transparent library. It means that all the members in the community, whether it be developers, designers or experts or managers, anyone in the community is free to connect with the jQuery team. If you scroll down, you can see the list of all the prominent contributors here. All of them gave something to jQuery UI in different ways. Now let's move ahead to the downloading part and we'll download the jQuery file and open the RAR file. So we have to extract this file in the same folder wherein we are saving our jQuery related programs. What we'll do is, we'll save all the files inside a new folder and we'll name it jQuery UI. Fine. So what we'll do is, we'll move to the home page and you can see over here we have this table version or we have the old and unsupported versions as well. This jQuery 1.8 is the stable version. We'll click on it and it will automatically download. So here you can see we have WinRAR over here. It is a RAR file. Now what we have to do is, we have to extract this file. Fine. So we'll extract it. We'll go to jQuery. We'll create a new folder. We'll name it as jQuery UI. And we are good to go. We'll click on OK. And the file is now extracted. You can check it by going through the same folder. So what we'll do is, we'll close this WinRAR. Now the only task left now is to add these files inside our HTML files. So we'll add all the required files and let's quickly take a look inside the jQuery UI folder and see what we have here. Fine, we'll move to our jQuery UI folder. So here's a jQuery UI folder inside the jQuery folder. This is the jQuery UI and inside this what we'll do is we'll create a single folder. So we'll cut all these files from here and we'll paste them here. Fine. We'll delete this particular folder. Now here we are inside the jQuery UI folder. You can see we have external and images. We have two more folders over here. The external folder contains the jQuery file and the images folder have certain images over here. You can see these all are icons. Now we have these CSS files over here. We have the jQuery JS file as well. We have jQuery UI.js file as well. 
and we have all the minified versions as well now the reason behind having a lot of external css files and images over here is jquery ui consists of widgets and user interfaces that's why it requires some external css files and images to make it work more efficiently now the plain jquery library is plain javascript but jquery ui consists of some images and css files as well so let's add these files to our html file now what we'll do is we'll open vs code and chrome browser side by side so here is the result of our first program now what we'll do is we'll add these files inside a html file so first of all we have to include the javascript file but for that what we'll do is we'll write here script and then we'll write here src is going to be jquery and let's check out the name of that folder again so here you can see we have the folder name as jquery hyphen ui so we'll write here jquery ui slash and inside this we'll add this particular file we'll add jquery ui dot js because we want to include the javascript file right so we'll write here type is equals to text slash javascript and we are good to go close the script tag save it and we have added the javascript file over here now we have to include some more files to use jquery ui completely in particularly the css files now the question in your mind may come what are these other files used for right these files are the minified versions of same jquery and css files smaller in size but the working remains almost the same so what we'll do is we'll add the css files as well over here for that we'll move to a head section and we'll write here link rel and inside this we'll write jquery dash ui slash now we have to include three files over here the first file name is jquery ui dot css so we'll write here jquery okay what we'll do is we'll write here rel then we'll write a style sheet and we'll pass the source inside href so we'll write here jquery ui slash then we'll write here jquery ui dot css so we'll write here jquery ui dot css now we have included one file over here we'll close this link tag and we'll copy this as well fine to add other two files so we'll copy it from here and we'll paste it here twice fine now we have three css files over here we'll change the names so the first one is jquery ui the second one is jquery ui dot structures dot css so we'll write here structure dot css and the last file is jquery ui dot theme dot css fine so we have added all the required files to our html file now we don't need any more files now we can check it by going through the console if there's anything wrong in the program or not now before we wrap up this video one more thing is this jquery ui file this javascript file which we are adding we have to add this file after the plain jquery file only because the code executes line by line and we may have to face so many errors or difficulties because of it so that's why we add the jquery ui file only after the plain jquery file always keep this thing in mind guys so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through date picker widget control in jquery if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you